so please understand i have one base class but i will have multiple subclass and we have also understood how do i create the object so what is object how do i create the object subclass i have i have only one subclass the property of the base class is getting inherited to the one is base class another one is subclass what exactly base class and subclass is all about i have already told you whenever you want to define any subclass what is the keyword that you have to use so you have to use the keyword extend hello everyone i welcome all of you to the session number 4 on classes and objects So before I start my session to all of you today let me introduce myself I'm Kaushik a lecturer in the department of computer science with Yashram First Grade College so guys what is the topic for the day so before I start my topic so let me give you a small quick recap so what exactly we have studied till now so let's understand that quickly so we have understood what exactly class is all about and we also know to write a program we using a class concept and also we have discussed how do i write the concept of constructor okay so we have also studied the concept of constructor so what exactly constructor is all about all those things we have understood and we have also understood how do i create the object so what is object how do i create the object so we have uh, understood that and also we have understood what exactly method overloading in the previous session so what is that method overloading in the previous session and after that we have studied what is static okay whether it is a static member or whether it is a static member function so we have discussed both the things that's what you need to remember here so then followed by we also understood the nesting of methods we also understood the nesting of methods in my previous session so guys this is what we have uh, discussed quickly in all my previous sessions now today what is that i have so i have something called inheritance this is going to be very interesting for all of you so let's start this my dear students what exactly inheritance is all about why should we use this inheritance concept so this is one of the feature of object oriented programming so why do i use basically the concept of inheritance before we understand the concept of inheritance so let's understand why should i need the main advantage of inheritance is all about the reusability of code i repeat if i use the concept of inheritance in my programming language so it will help me to use the code again and again again and again so that is the major advantage that i have so yes we have studied this sir in the definition in all our previous classes but we don't know how exactly to implement this concept of inheritance it's very simple that is what i am going to demonstrate it for all of you in today's class let's get into the session so my dear students if i say inheritance you need to understand that we have two important things one is base class another one is sub class what exactly base class and sub class is all about i think my diagram speaks very clearly in this slide we have the base class or the super class that i will call it as a grandfather or the parents so whatever my parents have earned the property so that property will be coming to the son or a daughter yes so whatever the properties that the parents have earned okay that property will come to the child yes or no yes that's what you need to understand here in the same way my dear students listen to me carefully so this parents i will call it as a base class this is what i will call it as a base class so whatever the program whatever the code that you have written in the base class this can be utilized by the sub class this can be utilized by the sub class the beauty is whatever i have written here i can reuse it i don't have to write it again in the sub class whatever the property that the parents have earned so it can be used by the child this child doesn't have to worry to earn that property so that is the concept that we are trying to understand in this 
all right so i have the base class the properties of whatever you have in the base class can be utilized by the subclass this is what i will call it as a inheritance this is what i will call it as a inheritance yes this is what i have explained in this first slide let me go to the next important topic that is types of inheritance when it comes to the types of inheritance my dear students basically we will be discussing four different types of inheritance the first one that we have is single inheritance what exactly single inheritance is all about so yes please make a note of all these things i will be explaining that one by one with the diagram all right so let's start so we have the single inheritance the second one that we have is multiple and the third one is hierarchical and the last one that we have is multi level inheritance so guys so this is what you need to remember so now let me start the explanation for this one by one observe here so let's understand the types of inheritance with the help of this diagram guys we have the first one that is single inheritance you just have to understand it's very very simple i have already told you i have two types of classes one is base class another one is subclass so fine let's understand this concept with an example all right i have a and b what is this a and b so this is what i will call it as a base class this is what i will call it as a base class and this is what i will call it as a subclass so let's understand the same concept with an example now so fine what is the example sir i have father okay this i will treat it as father this i will treat it as son all right the property of the father will comes to the son so how many inheritance so how many levels it is going it is going one level that's why i will call it as a single inheritance the properties of the base class can be inherited to the subclass meaning of it it's very simple listen to me carefully whatever the whatever the methods that i have written whatever the variables that i have i can use it in the subclass i can use it in the subclass i don't have to write the code whatever i have written here i can just reuse it here that is what the speciality of this inheritance so fine so you understood the single inheritance father is giving it to son that's it but here you observe i have the multi level inheritance i have the multi level inheritance what exactly multi level first i have grandfather first i have grandfather then i have father then it is coming to the son so this is multi level so this is the base class so for this base class this b is a subclass this b is a subclass so fine again this will act as a base class for this subclass so this is a subclass for this b so this is what you need to understand so this c can inherit the properties from both a as well as b that is the speciality but when it comes to b this b can inherit the property from this a that's what you need to understand grandson can take the property of both father as well as the grandfather but father can take the property of only his father that is grandfather so that's what you need to understand in this example so fine the next inheritance what is that i have so please observe here so i have this as a base class this as a base class so all of you will be knowing we have a department okay so when we have a departments like we in the college we will have multiple departments yes or no yes for all this multiple departments we will have the heads say for example the head of the department of biology like you know biology head of the department and chemistry head of the department physics head of the department like this we have a different uh, departments we will have the heads for all the different head of the departments while who will control all this head of the department we will have the principal yes or no yes so this is the principal i will call and this principal will have different head of the departments so the, that's what i will call it as a hierarchical that's what i will call it as a hierarchical but when it comes to inheritance you need to understand one concept you need to understand one concept what is that so please understand i have one base class but i will have multiple subclass i repeat i have one base class for this base class i will have multiple subclass if i have multiple subclass more than one subclass then that type of 
inheritance is what I will call it as a hierarchical inheritance. One base class, for one base class you will have multiple more than one subclass, then that I will call it as a hierarchical inheritance. So fine, what is the next one that I have? You have multiple inheritance. What is the meaning of multiple inheritance? So it's very interesting. Suppose if you have more than one base class, you have more than one base class to one subclass. That is what I will call it as a multiple inheritance. That's what you need to make a note of it. So guys, I will just move out of the frame. So please take a screenshot of it. Let me erase everything to all of you. Take a screenshot of it. This diagrams you have to remember. This is going to be very helpful for all of you. So hope you have taken the screenshot of it. So this is the different types of inheritance that I have. So fine, what is the next one that I have? So you need to remember defining a subclass. How do I define a subclass? The syntax to define a subclass goes like this. So first of all, you all know how to write a class. So use, using the class keyword, you will be writing it and then followed by the name of the class. You will write the name of the class. So fine, you'll write the name of the class, but you need to observe here, I'm using sub. What is that you are trying to do? So here I'm trying to write the subclass. You already know how to write the class, but I'm trying to show you how to write the subclass. So fine. So the syntax is you will write the name of the subclass. So fine. Then after that, it is very important that you should use a word called extends. So without using the word called extends, so you cannot inherit any properties from the base class. So for that reason, you have to use the keyword called extends. So fine, after that, you have to write the super class name. Here, the word super class in the sense, the base class. Say for example, I have the base class name as A and the subclass name as B. So how do I write for this? So I have to use a keyword called class. I have, a, I have to write a keyword called class. So fine, I have to write the class name as class A. So fine, then after that, how do I write the subclass for this? So listen to me, in the same way I have to write the keyword class, then followed by name of the subclass, that is B. All right, after that, I have to use the keyword extends. So here, I have to use a keyword called extends. Then after that, which is my base class for this class? A is a base class. I have to write the name of this super class, that is base class that is what they have mentioned here then followed by whatever you want you, you can write it inside this class this is how you will be writing or you will be defining the subclass fine you understood how to write so this is an important keyword that you have to remember so inside this you will be writing as usual variables and methods that's common like you know you all know which we have already discussed in our previous sessions Let's take an example. How do we write the program for multi-level inheritance? When it comes to the concept of multi-level inheritance, I showed you in the previous slide. I showed you in the previous slide for single inheritance. But let's understand how to write the snippet for multi-level inheritance. Say for example, what is the first thing that I have? I have the keyword class, then I followed by class A. Followed by that class A. A is what? A is the name of the class. A is the name of the class. Imagine I have the grandfather. I have the grandfather. The name of the grandfather is A. So this is grandfather. Imagine this. So fine. Then I have a father. The name of the father is B. So observe here. I have a keyword class. Okay. And then followed by the class name is B. I have already told you whenever you want to define any subclass, what is the keyword that you have to use? So you have to use the keyword extends. You have to use the keyword extend. So fine. So this is a subclass. For this subclass, which one is a base class? A is a base class. That is what you have to mention here. Fine, I have mentioned. So open flower bracket, close flower bracket, whatever you want in this class, you can write. Then again, I have to define class C also, right? So let's understand. So the same thing, class keyword, and then C is the name of the class. Again, extends, so this B. So for this C, so B is a base class. B is a base class. 
that's what I have written. So, but the beauty that you need to understand with respect to this multi-level inheritance is, so this C can access the property of both B as well as A. So that is what you need to remember and that is the speciality of multi-level inheritance. So this is how we reuse the code. So with the help of the concept called inheritance. So guys, I will be discussing the concept of constructor in the next session. So how exactly I can use the constructor using the concept of inheritance. So how exactly I will be dealing the dealing with the constructor with the base class and the super class. That's what I will be discussing in my next session. Along with that, I will also discuss some of the important things. If you have understood the concepts of this, don't forget to click on the like button and stay healthy. Thank you very much.